Okay. So one of the main things we've done is, uh, as, as you heard Ben say, we're integrated in a lot of different uh, CAD packages. Uh, V5 and 3DX were, was the only CAD package that um, our um, modeling data was stored in the CATIA tree. We have now pulled it out into a 3D ECS model navigation window, which makes it common with all of our other platforms. And I'm going to show you all the benefits that you get now that it happens to be in a model navigation window. What you can do with this window is you can now drag and drop your moves, tolerance, measures, points, anywhere up and down the tree. You can cut, copy, and paste. You can branch into sub-assemblies or into the part, so you can simplify your tree and the graphics as you're trying to develop your model. I'll be showing you, for instance, you can branch into a single part and just start working on the tolerances. You can run the analysis at a subassembly level. So this you know, helps you debug and, um, and quickly get results at subassemblies as you're building your deeper model. One of the uh, great enhancements is the empty part function. So those of you probably have done some very large models. And what happens to us all the time is the customer will give us the entire model, but we only need like 10 parts in the model. And so we have, you know, we have a bunch of parts clogging up our tree and um, clogging up our memory. So I'm going to show you how this new function works. <clears throat> and because of the location of that new function, I'm going to also talk about the uh, hide MTM features, which have always been there. I've just never used them. And, and then we have um, <clears throat> that empty part feature can remove it from the tree so that it um, doesn't make things so large and complicated. Um, and then the last thing we're going to, well, this is what actually is going to happen. So you can have a full model here. And if you click this empty part button, you can see the model navigation tree is going to hide everything that doesn't have any information. So then when you look over at this model, you can see you have some parts with no data in it and some parts with data. So that when you click on that empty part button, your tree minimizes. And this tree will grow as you're adding moves, tolerances, or measurements on other parts. So with that, I'm going to jump over to CATIA. And this is a model. <clears throat> this is a model where, you know, traditionally, you can see in the applications folder, this is where we stored all of our data. So I just had this up so you can get a, you know, a quick visual. Because if I jump over here, this is the same model. But now we have this model navigation, and there's no more data in the application tree. So if those of you that use CATIA V5 or 3D experience, and you can have a very large CATIA tree, and then you end up having a very large 3D CS tree inside the applications folder. Well, with this, one, it's, it's a separate window. So the power of that is if you have a dual screen system, which I never do, but you can drag this over onto your other screen to give you more space so that you can navigate your CAD and your, and your 3D CS model navigation tree faster and easier. Some of the things that I mentioned is you can see I can now just drag things around and change the order in the point list or, you know, in a tolerance. So, you know, the power here is a lot, mainly for points I use a lot because I like to have my points in the correct order. But from this tree, you can, um, you can now drag and drop. You can cut, copy, and paste. So to give you an example, I'm going to just uh, get this out of my way. If I, if I say, you know, fast point, and I throw a point right here, you 
I can now go into the base. There's that point that I just created. Copy it. And I'm going to go back into the housing and paste it. So now I got that point in the housing. And if I come over here, you can see there's that point. The other advantage is this is, you know, this is not a big model, but it does have some sub assemblies. So you can see I have a cover assembly and I have the motor assembly, then I have the full model. So if I want, I can branch into just the cover assembly. And you can see it hid all the other parts. The tree just has the cover assembly. And this, you know, this has a move in it and it has tolerances and it has a measurement. This is a full little model. So I can do a nominal build. I can zoom in and hit deviate. And we can see the variation. And I got a measurement. Oh, that's the move, sorry. I got a measurement where I'm measuring this face to this face. And so from here, I could, you know, I could run an analysis just like any other model and get my results at the subassembly level. So the advantage, you know, so you can branch run analysis, or I could decide that I want to branch into the housing all by itself. And now I can just create points, write tolerances, do all the work I want at a detail level part. And then when I'm done, I can branch, I can expand tree back to the full model. So to give you an example, with this new model navigation, we have all these buttons up here. This is the empty part button. So we added this for those of you that um, were working with the old CATIA version. You didn't have the model navigation anyway. But with this, you now get all these buttons. And so I can actually click on this button, and it will hide all the points in the tree. If I click on this button, it hides the GDT in the tree. This button here, is to hide empty parts. Well, this model is complete. So all the parts are used. So when I hit hide parts, nothing happens. So what I'm gonna do is as I'm gonna jump over to <clears throat> NX. And I'm gonna open up this model here. <clears throat> with a 3DCS update model. Now, if I hit empty part, okay, this was not where I wanted to start, so I'm going to come over here, delete DCS data. Update model. Now, you can see <laughs> I must have been working on this model and got more done on it than I wanted to. But now I opened up this model. There's no 3D CS data. So when you see this checked, all I'm seeing is the assembly. If I uncheck it, I can see the full tree, but there's no data in the tree. So this is the example of this. This model could have 500 parts in it. And if you say empty part, it will list only the parts that are being currently used in the 3DCS model. And to give you an example, I'm going to go ahead and say extract GDT, pick this part. Now, when I come here, I see just the base because it has GDT in it. If I hit empty part, all the other parts go away. If I come in here and uh, well, if I if I extract all the moves, then then all the parts will be here because features on them are used. 
So the idea with this empty part function is one, you can get uh, extraneous data out of your model that you don't want as you're trying to build your model. And two, when you update model and save the model in from 3DCS, we're not saving all that extra data. So it will, it will increase your, it will increase the speed of update model and it will increase your saving speed and it will utilize less data because we'll only be saving data for the parts that we're actually using.